Are you looking to learn needle felting techniques to help you become a better fiber artist? If so, then you're on the right video because today I'm going to teach you five simple techniques to help you. and welcome to today's video, Needle Felting Techniques. My name is Iceland and on this channel, Snowflake Forest Felting, I share needle felting videos, have needle felting tutorials like this one, and share product reviews from time to time. So if you're new and this interests you, please consider subscribing. And if you want to know more about anything you see here on this channel, be sure and check the links down in the description below this video or leave a comment. I'd love to connect with you there. And if you think this video might help someone, please share it like with all my videos. So today I wanted to give you five simple techniques that can help you be a better fiber artist. Number one, focus on one object at a time. Like with the needle felted fairy house that I made. I made the mushroom stem, then I made the mushroom cap, and then I made the mushroom base. And then you just start putting all the pieces together. So you really want to break your felting projects down step by step and piece by piece. Number two is leave loose ends when you're gonna be attaching something. Like with the needle felted fairy that I made, when you attach the arms and the legs, you'll want extra wool there to do so. And that will help make your felting projects come together. Number three is roll items as you felt them to help make them firm. Like with the stem of a flower or the leg of a deer or a fox. Something that is really narrow or skinny like that in extremity, rolling it is gonna be key. Whether that's even just between your hands as you're felting it, or while you're felting it and rolling it too. Number four is make a foundation with core wool because color wool can be more expensive and so then that way you're not using all of your expensive wool. It's not a huge difference but it is a little bit and having the core wool will help you use less of your color wool. And another thing to consider when using core wool over color wool is sometimes core wool is a lot more flexible and softer compared to the color wool and so that will help you shape your object in the beginning and then the color can just be a wrap around it. Number five is different types of felting needles can create a different type of felting effect. So you'll want to do some research on types of needles that are out there. If you are just beginning, I highly recommend this needle felting needle. I will link it down below. They do come in different shapes and sizes and wool varies from breed as well. And so different needles and different types of wool are going to create a different desired effect for your project, just depending on the outcome that you may or may want as you become more and more experienced with felting and want to try new other types of wool and techniques and methods. And that's it. That's the five things that I wanted to share with you today. I hope they helped you and you learned something new. If you did, please be sure and give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. Share this video where you can. And if there's something you'd like to see me felt next, drop it down in the comments below. I might just make it next. Thanks so much for watching as always, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!